So if you guys haven't been aware for the past few days or so, uh, lately there's been um, this speculation rumor that Microsoft is reportedly working on a Halo Combat Evolve remaster, and there may be a potential chance that it may be coming to PlayStation 5 really soon. So it's here in the article, it says Microsoft is reportedly working on a remaster of Halo Combat Evolve, and there are suggestions that it may also come in PS5. Um, according to Tom Warren, who's like a journalist, a gaming journalist, he said that it's in quote unquote early days of development. So it won't likely until we hear about like 2025 or 2026 when they announce all this stuff. And basically, um, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just one of those things that I'm, like, perplexed about that people have been talking about, like, when you come to think of it, like, do we really need a Halo Comedy Evolve? And just from, like, searches on YouTube, it seems like everybody has, like, speculation on, and there's, like, people such as Noodle down here who gave like a really deep analysis to the current um, anniversary that we have with Halo C, And I just want to throw my bone out there and I say, I really don't think we need a remake because there are several factors you have to keep in mind when it comes to remake and remasters these days, because keep aware that they are a gamble and you are really putting a lot of resource, time and money into these projects and you never know what the outcome is because the thing is you can't please everybody you can't please the hardcore people you can't please the the newcomers you can't please like everybody on equal ground if you know what i mean like it's kind of like the way resident evil remake was when it was made in 2002 like sure for the old veterans who played the first resident evil on the playstation one it had like you know, the the tank controls, the fixed camera angles, the cheesy dialogue, you know. But for, like, newcomers, they're really, like, all about, like, the graphics, the gameplay, the sound, the visual. And it's just one of those, like, things, like, trivial to Halo. And this is the thing that hasn't been, like, or maybe it has been discussed before, if I recall. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. But does Halo really need a remake or a reboot? And I'm going to solve the first dilemma to the ladder of rebooting. We do not need a reboot. I don't think Halo needs does not need a reboot. Because everything that has been built so far since 2001 up to current like modern Halo day with Halo Infinite. I think it's really just more on like... It's all about the lore, you know? The foundation, the characters, the, the people, you know? And... I mean, it really is just, like, one of those, like, discussions you have to bring up with your friends and the community because everyone's going to have their different opinions. My opinion is that remakes, remakes and remasters are a 50-50 because when you look at video games as a general, like, throughout the past, like, I don't know, 20, 30 so years, like... The amount of remakes and remasters we have gotten for video games is astounding. Like, take Resident Evil, and I know I'm going to bash Resident Evil for this, and I'm using it as, like, a perfect example, because that game franchise has been remaked a lot. Like, first in 2002 with Resident Evil Remake, which is just called Resident Evil, and then in 2019 is when they remade the second Resident Evil, which came out in 1998, and critical response to that was everybody seemed to love it like it was just phenomenal the gameplay was enjoyable it wasn't as challenging or frustrating as usual like sure there are some nitty picks here and there that people have a problem with the uh the gameplay and the and mr x following you like everywhere but really it was just about like those visuals and the re engine which by the way is like amazing like this engine is like so visually good and like pleasing and then here comes the bad side when it comes to remakes and supply and demand for it you tend to get a lot more audio like output more than what you had in mind so for instance the next year in 2020 there was the resident evil 3 remake 
And was that really necessary to make another remake of the third game, which came out in 1999? Sure to some, yeah, but many to others, it wasn't as necessary because, I mean, there are like those people I know and myself that like are a little mixed between the Resident Evil 3 remake and the Resident Evil 2 remake saying, oh, 2 is better because it did this and that, and 3 sucks because they took out like some of the cunt content, which by the way, cunt content when it comes to remakes and remasters is a like a um, a trivial task because when it comes to Halo, there was a lot of cunt content with the first game, the second game, Halo 3, ODST, and Reach. And over past time, we've seen those like cut content restored in MCC with um, the first, second, third, four, like, you know, and although that's pretty cool, that's also the thing the developers are responsible for because they have to really do it justice. They have to make it genuinely good. And if they ever fail on that task, then it's a problem because not everyone is going to like see the full potential of the remake, you know, like remake is literally by definition, you're making the, you're making the same thing, but doing it again in a different way. While remaster is like, updating the visuals the fidelity the graphics the gameplay you know and honestly like again i i really think there does not need to be a remake of halo combat evolved and i want to say this why it's because this will divide the community even further because again you can't please everybody you can't please the old fans you can't please newcomers like there is no middle ground unless by some miracle God created like the perfect Halo game that really made everyone happy. And okay, and to get to understand that, I'm going to bring up some arguments. So for those who want a remake, I can see why. You really didn't like the CEA, which came out in 2011, and the assets they reused from Halo Reach. And and keep in mind, like, I don't think it was their fault entirely that they had to reuse a lot of the assets because it was literally, like, a year after Halo Reach came out, so they really didn't have, like, I guess, like, the time crunch to work on the game, so they reused, like, a lot of marine models, weapon models, and all that, and sure, like, some of the environment may look gorgeous, it also may have, like, ruined the original aesthetic and one that gets brought up example that people talk to tend to bring up is uh the level 343 guilty spark where in the new graphics it's very clear it's very for it's very jungle dense it's really like rainy but there are those who originally played the game in 2001 who really loved that horror aesthetic and they say that the new uh the new graphics ruined it because it totally killed like the immersive suspense of like disbelief so for that i can understand why people uh want to remake because they want to like correct those visual areas and same thing goes for like the models ahead like another argument that i've um heard from like when it comes to the character models were the elites and their necks and from the old to the new graphics so in the old graphics they were working with like polygons and the way the elites were designed but in the new graphics even though they looked really clear with like uh i believe it was halo 3 or halo reach elite models um their neck their necks were really crooked so it looked like they were like hunched up below the usual oh sorry about that yeah yeah that's that's what the uh that's what the microphone was it was basically just like the the elites necks and halo c um anniversary however i think there were like a few things that came good from the the anniversary first of all there were the terminals and the terminals provided a lot of good contextualization on the halo lore because it really adds like a new depth flavor makes it more immersive more believable like what humanity was doing up before the discovery of halo itself um there was the multiplayer which they remade like some of the maps from Halo C into Reach. Um, like for instance, you got like Damnation, Beaver Beaver Creek, um, Prisoner. It was like that one map. Uh, I think that's what it's called. But yeah. Um, anyway, uh, and now for the argument, as I as I say, like 
for those who are against a remake, which is where I stand, and keep in mind that I'm a Halo fan, I really don't think that there should be a remake because it hangs on the balance of the stakes and from the community with both expectations and how 343 is going to handle it. Because if they lead the project to a small group studio, say like Blur Studio or whatever, like as long as that studio like alone gets the job done, then that's okay. Like everybody will be satisfying, will be satisfied and grateful to a faithful remake but if it doesn't and it flops then i think the only way forward as i watch somebody's um, video is for 343 just to keep making like new games forward on to like don't look at the past like don't go back to the past and try to like um recreate anything that was made in like 2001 4 7 instead make something new and try to keep along that momentum because it will be a lot more progressing, advancing for rather than just like advancing backwards, but just keeping it like refreshing and rejuvenating way. And then the, here's the the main thing that people say when it comes to remake that everybody wants Halo Three remake. I really don't think Halo Three needs to be remake because this game came from t 2007, and you got to keep in mind the visual and fidelity that the game was made on for the 360 was really powerful at the time. The 360 was like the console where you see like some of the best games, some of the worst games visually, and Halo 3's lighting in Halo was like phenomenal. Like if you insert like anything from the like current Halo games, say like Halo 4 Chief or Halo Infinite Chief and the Halo 3 lighting, it will still look good. Why? I don't know. Maybe that's just the the magic Bungie worked on when they were when they made Halo 3, like, you know, and I can understand why people want a Halo 3 remake because it was, it's just like one of those games that you like look back on and this has to do with nostalgia and nostalgia is a very powerful thing. But the thing is with nostalgia is you can't overdo it or attack or exploit it very much because it will burn out. It would make a sense of dysphoria. It would kill the original authentic vibes that the game has brought with and so yeah i mean i mean see either way let me know in the comments below what you guys think um i just wanted to make this video to get my thoughts out there because i feel like when it comes to like remakes or reboots or anything remasters with halo i don't think halo is really like the ideal franchise to ever make remasters or remakes because it's both a golden relic of our age and for generations to come, you know, it's like that, like really nice, like prehistoric bone that you find in the museum. That's like, wow, that's still standing there. Like despite how many years have passed, it still looks good. Probably in another 20 years, it will still look good either, depending on like how you perceive things. And so, uh, yeah, um, let me know whether you're for a remake or against a remake and, I just want to get this video out quickly because I haven't made one in a while and I just feel like this was like a good time to make it. And with that, guys, um, I'll see you guys later. This has been Woodscup and peace.